Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene tried to debunk COVID via a thread on Twitter. Now, expectedly, she is going to fail miserably at this. But the argument that she chooses, it's honestly astonishing to me. Like, I think that we've all established at this point that this is someone who is very stupid and has a very low IQ and no critical thinking skills whatsoever. Um, I don't even know how many functioning brain cells she has. But putting that aside, the fact that she still thought that this argument was like a gotcha, the fact that she wrote this and thought, man, I'm owning the libs. I just, I don't know what to say about it. So we'll take this tweet by tweet. This is a five tweet thread. And the first thing she says is every single year, more than 600,000 people in the United States die from cancer. The country has never once shut down. Not a single school has closed. And every year, over 600,000 people of all ages and all races will continue to die from cancer. Okay. Think just for a second about why that's the case. Why, even though there's all of these deaths related to cancer, we don't shut down schools, we don't wear masks, we don't have lockdowns. Think to yourself, Marjorie, why this is the case. What is it about cancer that's different than a virus like COVID-19? Cancer is not contagious. I just, this isn't even that hard. Give me something more difficult. So she, she, she goes on here. Since COVID-19 tracking has started, 780,000 plus people have died in 22 months in the United States, but more than 1 million still died of cancer. More have died in 2021 from COVID than 2020 in spite of gov-mandated widespread vaccines, mass public masking, and trillions spent. Okay, well, first of all, we're not actually doing real lockdowns. I mean, we have mask mandates, but whenever we do a lockdown, it's not a real lockdown compared to other countries. People are still going out. Non-essential workers are still going to work. So to even characterize what we do in the United States as a lockdown would be incorrect. But again, I've got to ask you, why have more people died in 2021 compared to 2020? What's the difference? Because sure, at face value, it, it seems odd, right? We have vaccines now. We have more... Um, treatments for COVID-19. What's different? Oh, that's right. The Delta variant, which became prominent in the United States in 2021, which is more severe and more contagious. I feel like she had to at least thought a little bit about this, but it's Marjorie Greene. So, I mean, she just probably was tweeting out this thread while she was shitting. But still, this is... This is not something that a lawmaker should be tweeting out. You are a policymaker. The things that you do, the legislation that you vote on impacts the lives of not just Americans, but people around the world. And you're this fucking dense. It's just shocking to me still, even as long as she's been in Congress, which is not long, but it, she's been there long enough for us to know that she is not very bright. And I'm still continuously shocked by her. Tweet number three, it's time to take a different approach based on facts. COVID predominantly targets obese and older people. Shutdowns, masking, and vaccines are not stopping COVID. That is just government control. Ivermectin, monoclonal antibodies, and other treatments are saving lives. To care about others and save lives, our response to COVID-19 should be working towards ending obesity, promote COVID treatments that are proven to work, and stop the politically driven mass hysteria, allow people to choose natural immunity or vaccines without discrimination. There's so much in those two tweets that is shocking to me. First and foremost, it's the contradiction. She wants to take a different approach based on facts, but then she says, well, we should promote medicine that's been proven to work. Not the vaccines, because those aren't working. But let's promote ivermectin. Ivermectin has not been proven to work. It has not been proven to work. It is viewed as a COVID treatment within the anti-vax cult that you are a part of, but it's not a proven treatment. Monoclonal antibodies, however, is something that has been proven to be very, very effective. And I think the only reason why she cites this as an effective treatment is because Daddy Joe Rogan said that he took monoclonal antibodies. And for whatever reason, the anti-vax cult has accepted monoclonal antibodies. But had they not accepted it, then you would just go along with whatever your cult says and you'd parrot the same fucking thing. Now, if you want to... Uh, uh, talk about politically driven mass hysteria or politically driven dialogue with respect to COVID-19, I don't know, maybe citing ivermectin as a cure for no other reason than this is what 
anti-vaxxers say. Maybe that's politically driven. Maybe saying that vaccines are bad is politically driven when they've been proven to work. And they saved hundreds of thousands of lives in the United States this year alone. And she ends with just a fucking banger. Allow people to choose natural immunity or vaccines without discrimination. That's not a real choice. Like, that's a false dichotomy. You can either get the vaccine and not die, or you can get COVID-19 out of choice, like Dennis Prager, and risk having long-term health ramifications. I have a friend who's a COVID-19 long hauler who's still dealing with the ramifications of getting, getting COVID in early 2020. So it's not like this is an equal choice to be made. Of course, if you care about people, you should be influencing them to get the vaccine because there's not a risk there. You might die if you get COVID-19, if you actually get infected with it. But if you get the vaccine, you're going to feel like shit for a day or two and then you'll be fine. So for her to say this and then add on the discrimination, I mean, she just... This is not a serious person, but it's a member of Congress. So we have to take this person seriously. We have to actually consider what she says because she is in a position of power and people value her. And unfortunately, she's a rising star in the Republican Party. I wouldn't be surprised if she was a competitive presidential contender one day. One more tweet. The government COVID-19 response hasn't stopped COVID and isn't about saving lives. It's about control. If the hypocrites in charge wanted to save lives, they would destroy all government-funded bioweapons and fund COVID treatments like ivermectin. Also, FYI, she then links to a page highlighting viruses that lead to cancer. First of all, you are in charge, idiot. So when you talk about the hypocrites who are in charge, you're in charge. Now, specifically, Democrats are in control of government right now. So cite them. But when you just say people in charge, that means you too. So you have to be a little bit more specific. Furthermore, she keeps talking about the need for facts when she says, oh, well, this is about control. What do you mean it's about control? Getting control of the virus, perhaps. But do you honestly believe that the Democratic Party is concocting, you know, new variants as others on the right has suggested in order to control people or have some sort of an electoral advantage? This is baby brain bullshit right here that's what that is and she links to the page of viruses that lead to cancer implying that well you know if we really care about saving lives then wouldn't we focus on these viruses uh we do and these viruses are contained currently we're focusing on covid19 because it is not contained i just feel like there has to be some little voice inside of her some like a small tiny voice no matter how insignificant it's got to be there and it's got to be telling her, Marjorie, don't tweet this. Think before you say this. Please stop being stupid. But, I mean, she doesn't have that filter that other normal people have. Most of us, before we say something that we're thinking, there's a filter that tells us, mm, maybe leave that in the drafts. Maybe don't tweet about that. Maybe don't say that because it actually doesn't make sense. For her, she just vomits out whatever dumb shit is on her mind. And for, for this, actually, it seems as if she really planned out this argument that she was making in an attempt to debunk the seriousness of COVID-19. But even when she tries to be intellectual, even when she tries to present a cohesive argument, she still sounds like a fucking moron. So uh, you failed, Marjorie. You did not successfully debunk COVID-19. You did not disprove its seriousness. Uh, you failed. I would give you a zero out of 10 abysmal recovery mode my brain ideas recovery mode my brain ideas 